Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're discussing a topic that could potentially have a massive impact on the U.S. economy and the livelihoods of every American. Next Thursday, the U.S. is set to hit its debt limit, and Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has notified Congress of this fact. While this might sound like a dramatic situation, it's actually a semi-regular occurrence. But make no mistake, the consequences of not raising the debt limit could be dire. Yellen stated in her letter to House Speaker Kevin McCarthy that failure to meet the government's obligations would cause irreparable harm to the U.S. economy, the livelihoods of all Americans, and global financial stability. So, what exactly does this debt limit mean and what happens if Congress doesn't approve an extension? Let's dive in. First, let's define what the statutory debt limit is. The U.S. statutory debt limit is a legal cap set by Congress on the amount of debt that the federal government can accumulate. It's often referred to as the National Credit Card Limit, but it's a bit more complicated than that. When the government spends more money than it takes in through tax revenues and other means, it needs to borrow money to make up the difference. The debt limit controls how much the government can borrow to finance its operations. If the government reaches the debt limit, it is not able to borrow any more money until Congress raises the limit. The debt limit is a mechanism for Congress to exert control over the government's borrowing and ensure that the government lives within its means. It's designed to stop a president and their government from incurring huge debts unchecked. In recent years, raising the debt limit has become a somewhat contentious issue, with some lawmakers arguing that the government should cut spending instead of borrowing more. However, it's important to note that the debt limit does not control government spending. It only controls the amount of debt the government can accumulate to finance that spending. So what happens when the government reaches the debt limit? The Treasury Department can take extraordinary measures to free up additional borrowing room, such as suspending investments in certain government retirement funds. These measures can create additional borrowing room, but they are only temporary and can only be used for a limited period of time. When the debt limit is reached and these extraordinary measures have been exhausted, the Treasury Department must prioritize the payment of government bills and obligations. This means that some bills may go unpaid and the government may default on certain obligations, such as payments to government contractors or interest on the national debt. This can have serious financial and economic consequences. The government shutdown in 2013 is a prime example of what can happen when the debt limit becomes a contentious issue between Congress and the White House. The shutdown lasted for 16 days as the two sides couldn't agree on the debt limit, causing serious economic consequences. It's important to note that the debt limit is not a new concept and has been in place since 1917. It has been raised over 100 times since then, and it's not uncommon for the debt limit to be reached and for Congress to raise it. The debt limit is also not just a U.S. problem. Most countries have a similar mechanism in place to control government borrowing. However, the U.S. has a unique problem when it comes to the debt limit. The U.S. dollar is the world's reserve currency, which means that most countries hold U.S. dollars as a reserve currency. This means that if the U.S. defaults on its debt, it could have severe consequences for the global economy. Many experts believe that the debt limit should be abolished, as it causes unnecessary political gridlock and can have severe economic consequences. However, others argue that the debt limit is a crucial mechanism that keeps the government in check and ensures that the government lives within its means. In conclusion, the U.S. debt limit is a crucial mechanism that Congress uses to exert control over the government's borrowing and ensure that the government lives within its means. But hitting the debt limit could have serious consequences for the economy and the livelihoods of all Americans. It's essential that Congress acts promptly to protect the full faith and credit of the United States. The debt limit is not a new concept, and it has been raised over 100 times since it was first put in place in 1917. However, the U.S. has a unique problem when it comes to the debt limit, as the U.S. dollar is the world's reserve currency, and a default on U.S. debt could have severe consequences for the global economy. We hope this video has provided you with a better understanding of the U.S. debt limit and the potential potential consequences of not raising it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos like this one.